Well, good evening and good to have you with us at the close of the Lord's Day. And you may recall that earlier in the day we were thinking about the miracles of the Lord Jesus. And there are 30 to 40 notable miracles. I mean, everything that Jesus did is miraculous and wonderful and beyond human comprehension. But I was just thinking this evening of something we read in because all three gospel writers record the calming of the storm and we are told in Matthew's gospel and in chapter 8 and verse 23 that he entered into a ship and his disciples followed him they set out in lovely sailing conditions, but suddenly we're told a storm arose, a tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was overwhelmed. Now, you know, it's one thing to be in tempestuous weather. I've sailed in some fairly rough conditions, only once in my experience have I ever been in a vessel that was almost, not quite, but almost overwhelmed with water. I was in a boat in Weymouth as a young man long before I was married and it was fairly rough already but some young ladies uh, cajoled one of the boat owners, owners to take us out and I joined them and we went and we got in the shelter of Portland Harbour and things were better but we had to make our way back and I can picture it now as we made our way back to Way Weymouth Pier. The water was running right along the gunnels of the boat. It didn't come in mercifully but it was as near as could be from coming in. And it's a frightening experience. Water in the sea is one thing, water in the boat is something quite different. And they were in this situation where they were in danger of being overwhelmed in the flood, of having to, as it were, lose contact with the boat, be thrown into the water and there to do the best they could to make their way out and there they were in this situation a great tempest arose and we are told that by this time Jesus had gone to sleep he was in the stern of the boat but he was quite oblivious in a way to what was happening he was asleep and the disciples felt sure that they were going to sink, that they were going to perish. And so they woke him up and they said, Master, don't you care that we're going to perish? Save us or we will be lost. That was their situation. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? Where is your faith and he got up and he spoke to the wind and the waves and immediately the waves ceased the wind stopped and we're told there was a great calm and they marveled and they said this what manner of man is this that even the wind and the waves obey him this is jesus the god man this is the lord jesus the king of kings the ruler of princes the one who has all power both in heaven and in the earth this is the one who came to save us this is the one who went about doing good healed all manner of diseases but finally was taken and by wicked hands was crucified and slain 
dying in our place. Living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he took my sins far away. Rising, he justified, freely forever. One day he's coming. Glorious day. Will the Lord bless you. Amen.